everybody. Today I'm going to be doing the inside and out book tag. Um, the creators of this tag were Magnum Books. The idea of this tag is basically the acronym inside and out. Each letter has an assigned question and you basically answer them. The first question is inside flap slash back of the book summaries. Too much info or not enough? I think um, the blurbs on the back of books um, so most of the time they give like the right amount of information sometimes they don't really give you enough like on some books I have to do a bit of further research into the book before I decide to buy it because it doesn't tell me enough about it I think like kind of like a paragraph or two explaining like the overall summary of the book is just good enough for me having like one sentence is really not enough to be honest okay it can leave you in suspense and that but I don't but for me, it's just not good enough. <laughs> the second question is new book. What form do you want it in? Be honest. Audiobook, ebook, paperback, or hardcover? Um, when that, whenever a new book comes out, I like to have a physical copy of it first. So, and most books when they come out, it's in hardback. But I kind of prefer paperback a little bit more. But if it's a book that I really want, um, I want it straight away. And if it, the only option is hardback, then I'll buy the hardback version. Um, other than that, if I want to like, if I want to read it on the go, um, for example, with Billy and Me by Giovanna Fletcher, I got it on my iPad as well because I wanted to read it on the go. I didn't really want to take the book everywhere with me, and I may sometimes do that for other books as well. So and that's really the only case when I get like two editions of the book or two forms of the book really. And the next question is, scribble while you read. Do you like to write in your books, taking notes, making comments, or do you keep your books clean, clean, clean? Uh, I like to keep my books clean, 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 to be honest. Um, I I like to keep my books in pretty much mint condition. I hate, like, writing in them. And if it, like, um, in high school when we were doing English literature, uh, we always wrote in pencil, like, when we had to write notes in the books. Uh, so then we could easily rub them out and if I had to like write a book I would definitely do that rather than writing them like in pen and highlighting things but on my iPad I do like highlight quotes that I like but um, on phys in like physical books I don't do that at all. Next, in your best voice read for us your favourite first sentence from a book. Late in the winter of my 17th year my mother decided I was depressed. Presumably because I rarely left the house, spent quite a lot of time in bed, read the same book over and over, ate infrequently, and devoted quite a bit of my abundant free time to thinking about death. Question. Does it matter to you whether the author is male or female when you're deciding on a book? Also if you're unsure of the author's gender. It really doesn't matter to me what the gender of the author is. And that's all I have to say about that. I don't care if it's a man or a woman. If I like the book, that's all that should matter, really. Next, ever read ahead? Or have you ever read the last page way before you got there? I never read ahead. Um, the only time like, I've skipped ahead in the book is I just like go to like... I can't back from the last few pages to see um, the last chapters so I, can, so I know how many chapters there are in the book. Uh, I sometimes have accidentally seen like spoilers and like spoiler lines and that. Other than that, I don't actually physically read the last page and I think that kind of ruins the book to be honest. <laughs> Next, um, organised bookshelves or outrageous bookshelves. If you see my bookshelf at all, you will know that my bookshelf is pretty much very organised, all organised by colour. Ha Next question is, under oath, have you ever bought a book based on the cover alone? I have, um, I've never based the book on the cover alone. I don't think I have anyway. I've, I've definitely been attracted to books because of the cover. I thought, oh, that's a nice cover. And then I've read, and then I've coincidentally read the, read the blurb and I've liked the plot. So then I've bought it. So it's not, so I didn't exactly buy it on the cover alone. I did actually see what the plot was first and the final question is take it outside to read or stay in um i do a bit of both sometimes i decide to stay in if the weather's not great outside um but i may take it out once in a while because i don't like complete silence when i read uh, i like to have like a few like 
natural sounds. So, like when I'm on holiday and I buy the pool, uh, I like meaning there because it's just like kind of like um, gentle chatter and just um, minimal sounds unless there's like a child screaming. <laughs> And that's it for this tag. I'll leave all the questions below in the description if you want to do it as well. Um, I tag anybody to do this. I don't want to. I don't really want to tag anyone specific. Um, and that's about it, really. Uh, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.